Man, we got a young man in here. Man, it's responsible right here for a whole lot, man. A lot of the rhythms that you dance to, a lot of those pulsations that you feel in your chest, a lot of those beats and percussions that you think are just totally awesome. He's done production work for some of the most legendary groups that ever hit hip hop. From Jay Dilla, from The Roots, Talib Kweli, K Trinata, uh, who else can I name? Uh, uh, Common. Um, <laughs> The list goes on and on, and he's here with us today. One or one third of the members, uh, one third of the member of the group. Oh, August, August Green. Green. All right. Yeah, there we go. August Green. August Green. Shout out to I was in Southwest. Austin when they performed. <laughs> yeah. We out here in Sweet in the morning. Sweet in the morning. <laughs> we in here. <laughs> Multi Grammy award winning. <sighs> He look, did that not, black not, radio. Look, it's not I've about, the, it's not, it's not about the awards, Sway. I told you that. It's not about the it's awards. It's not about my 11 nominations. <laughs> no, it's nothing like, it's not about that. How many awards uh, was it? Two? Well, sorry. Oh, no. It's four Grammy winners. Okay, my 11, bad. 11 my bad. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of groups copy his style. Try to. You know, even James Brown accredited him for his beginnings. He did. He did. And this I mean, is posthumously. He came back from the heavens <laughs> and said, it was because of this man that I am who I am. <laughs> Robert Glasper, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, James Brown. Call him Luscious. Luscious Glasper. Luscious Glasper. Luscious Glasper. I hate y'all. That's never going to leave me now. That's never going to leave me. Golden Globe Award winning. <laughs> Academy Award winning. <laughs> Civil rights activist. It's me. I'm here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yes. this, is, this is my brother right here. I swear the better version of me, you're looking at him right now. If I could be a better version of me, I would be him. Oh, come on, man. Get out wow. of here. Get out of here. This is my guy right here. Man, uh, can I borrow a dollar? What was that, back in 92? Yeah, bro. And he started coming up to the Bay back then, and we realized we had so much in common. You know, it's like Superman and Bizarro. Yes, sir. And I have to tell you, one of his first awards, we talk about this all the time. King Tech and I was able to award him an award yeah. for the Wake Up Show. What was your, do you remember the title? Lyricist of the Year. Yeah, so. Lyricist of the Year. I got yeah, yeah, you remember. What was that? I, I got to be. I was, man, like that. you want that. You get a you get an award from y'all brothers. That's incredible, That's man. That's incredible. And that was in 98, 97. Yeah, oh, somewhere. We've got some right now. I'm up. We've been yeah, in Yeah, we're just throwing all type <laughs> of years out there. <laughs> all right. Give it up for common, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, man. I often say, man, um, man, it's, it, first of all, great to have y'all on the show, man. Good yeah, to have y'all on the show, Thanks, man. man. Absolutely. We celebrating this amazing album you guys were able to put together. Um, and um, I often say with you, Common, is I, I use you a lot when I talk to um, artists, up-and-coming artists. Uh, if I go and talk on campuses, college campuses and school, I use you really? a lot. I use your career. Um, I use the way you live. Um, on parallel to your career, how they all intertwine and it's all consistent, and um, your constant your constant effort to just give back. I use your post on Instagram when you talk about love and how we utilize love. Why why we're so concerned when we see brothers get lynched in their backyards because we love them like we love ourselves. Or Tamir Rice because yeah. we love her like we love ourselves. And I've never met a person that's uh, demonstrated so much love for people. Uh, for generations and been so consistent. So, common man, thank you for what you do, brother. Man, yeah, man, brother. that on, mean man. a whole lot, man. I appreciate it. You yeah. know, and man. It, go ahead, man. I go just want to say, you know, from that man, I'm just being real. My my foundation is God, man. I be, I'm a believer in God, man, and uh, you know, God spread love. So, you know, I see the God in all of us. So, I'm just gonna do my best to be on. You know, I ain't perfect. Uh -huh. But I just want to spread love to each and every individual, whether it comes through, through activism, through music, through a conversation, or sometimes just taking a picture with somebody. It's like, man, sometimes you don't feel like doing it, but you, you, know, you want to give people that love and respect as human beings. So that's where you, that's where you get that from, you know. Yep. I and, and at the core of it, he still is ready to battle anybody on a moment's notice. And, you know, me and, uh, Rob, me and Rob talk a lot. You know, we just bumped into each other randomly. A few nights ago. Just a few nights ago in Brooklyn. Hang exactly, out. exactly. Yeah, right? Yep. Uh, soul Movement. Was that Soul Movement? Something. 
something, soul something. Yeah, yeah. And he, what was it? So Element was so performing element. from Oakland, yep. and uh, and Rob was there just taking credit for their work and you know, <laughs> you know for their greatness. You know, it was just like it was like, come on, man, let them live, bro. right? And I was like, aren't y'all coming by the show next week? <laughs> you know, he's like, yeah, man, I just gotta finish writing common rhymes. Yeah, I'm I'm so, it's, I was I showing did. Kareem some rhythm. I, I was like, Damn, come on, man, this I really, the, I'm, I'm the core of the group. Let's just be real. I write, I write the rhymes and I do all the beats. <laughs> Look, Kareem, speak, man. Is this true? Does Huh? What beats? I'm not really sure. I just yeah, <laughs> man. His raps is terrible too, man. You got if you. What happened to the God in you part you were just talking about? <laughs> <laughs> all us out that the window the when God, it comes. As well, soon as it comes to battling, all us out the window now. The, yeah, the, the rap gods, baby. <laughs> <laughs> the rap god. You know, uh, uh, listen. A lot of questions I have, like, uh, um, I mean, you guys are musicians. You perform. You're artists. You're people. You know, um, and a, a lot of questions when I think too. A lot of things I think about is what's going on in the world today, society, the whole nine. And when I was listening, when I listened to this album, um, not only does it kind of reflect that, you know, and a lot of it you get, you confront in the lyrics, yeah. uh, but also um, the individual as well. And um, I want to ask you about a couple of lyrics, if I may. Mm-hmm. And then, Rob, jump in if you could decipher them as well. Yeah, I guess, I guess you can. <laughs> <laughs> and the song Meditation. I don't uh, get okay. it. What exactly? Don't you get breaking down the lyrics? You may not get down like whatever you want. On sway in the morning. All right, uh, that was gonna be for the song. Uh, uh, no apologies. I'm gonna get into that song because no apologies for me is that's that's my that's anthem. That's, your, that's, that's my shit. Yeah, right. you you that. Thanks, man. <laughs> uh, but you said something in meditation. I argue with my aura. Am I born again or born in sin? And that sounds like something that was more intro introverted, yeah. more of a personal, uh, perhaps a tug of war you may have. Uh, what does that mean? Where did, where did that come from? Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, as we strive to perfection, you know, as we strive towards being better individuals, man, you shit, you mess up. You make mistakes. You fall victim to whatever it is, man. Whether it's like um, just trying to get a, a bunch of girls or one girl or just mess or drinking or whatever it may be that becomes your flaws. Or, or it may be some, some stuff that you deal with that you've dealt with from from a kid and don't even know you got it uh-huh. but i'm just i'm just basically saying that you know even in that quest for being a better person you're going to fall victim to to some to messing up that's all it is and and it's and my my philosophy is like man it's all right man you're going to mess up just keep you know keep striving to perfection what was the last thing you think you you messed up on man um probably the last thing I messed up on is is probably like not telling, not talking to one of my good friends about what I needed to tell them mm-hmm. for real, you mm-hmm. know. Mm-hmm. And 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 to be honest, I'm talking like to Ye about Ye. Like I I, oh, okay. I feel like okay. I I had an opportunity to 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 maybe say some things that I should have said that I didn't. Did you get a chance to say them yet? Nope, I ain't say them yet, but. That being said, I feel like that's a that's a mess up. That ain't a self mess up, but it's still mm-hmm. one of those things mm-hmm. where it's like, I feel like, man, man, you gotta like you gotta look out for for people you care about, and love, and be, and be able to speak up, it, whether you feel like it's gonna hurt them, whether you feel like, I mean, you know, if you're telling them the truth with the right intention, mm-hmm. you gotta be able to say it. Or if you see them like doing something that that you that you think is detrimental, then you gotta be able to say it. And I think you know. I look at that. I don't look at that as such a self sin, but it's something that I feel like I messed up. I could have did better. What could have you have said though? After, um, you know, based on a lot of the tweets and the and the, and the, and I mean, the interviews I, he's done, or what? I, I think, um, you know, still giving a perspective, giving another perspective. I'm not saying that my perspective would have changed what he was going to say, mm-hmm. but it, but I still would feel better as a, as somebody that's a brother to somebody to say, man. Cause if, if if I saw you doing some sway, I owe it to you. Mm-hmm. From my relate, we ain't just up here just talking shit like, oh man, this is my brother. I know him. Yo, I owe it to you by action to say something that's going to to at least show you another perspective. Mm-hmm. And I f- and you know from times we'd be hooping, and like we was hooping recently, and and I knew Ye had a little thoughts about you know like what he liked about Trump, mm-hmm. but, but I didn't get all the way into depth like man why what things is so bad about this man that you know that maybe i know some people said it to him but you know sometimes it, it, you got to hear from different people people you care about it still may not have changed things but i feel like i, I had the opportunity and i didn't 
Did you not want to like ruffle the moment or? Well, I mean, we was kind of on the court, so yeah. it was kind of one of those things where we weren't really like talking too deep about like, you know, it was like, it was, it was like, it, it was one of those things you just, you know, you talking shit about different stuff and then, you know, it was like, I heard him say something about Trump, but it wasn't like, it, it definitely didn't have to do anything to do with the politics of Trump. It was more like he, him liking the ego of Trump, yeah. you know, and, uh -huh. and, and, and I'm going to say this because I knew if at some point if we got in this conversation, um, like I was with him at March for Our Lives. We, you know, we were yeah. just around each other and we were talking and he was saying, man, um, man, we got to do this for the community and do this. This is a way I think we could do this, Ross. This is how we do. And I was listening to his ideas and I was like, his heart was definitely in the place of looking out for human beings. So me knowing his heart, I know he ain't like supporting Trump in a way that's like I don't think he thought through what Trump is really doing mm -hmm. to to say well I like this dude but you ain't think through the fact that Trump is dividing people and Trump is trying to set up laws that's that's keeping our people and keeping um, lat, lat, Latino people and, and people that are immigrants just trying to shove us down he ain't really thought about those things so um, but I know his heart was in a different place because I said like I said it was it was like yo and it, it marched for our lives I sat there and listened to him talk about doing some stuff that was going to help out people. Mm -hmm. What what kind of things you think um, we can do to, and, and by the way, you could always hook up with your friends like that, so yeah. you could always go back to that moment yeah. and, uh, and, and, and have that conversation with them. And I hope if I ever do anything crazy out here, um, that you would tell me. I know Rob won't. Rob won't say nothing. He'll just try to let me fall. Uh, <laughs> Rob gonna push you over. He gonna push me over. Nah, nah, I'm just kidding. Uh, but when I when I th this is why I like No Apologies. This song, you know, when I when I listen to the lyrics, man, I, I'm just you know, and after seeing This Is America, what did y'all think of This Is This Is America when Donald Glover? Played? I loved it. Why? I love the message. I love I love the visual. First of all, uh huh. The the the, the visual, and I I felt like that kind of video and that kind of message took a lot of guts. Yeah. And he didn't have to do that. A lot of artists in his, you know, where he is in his stratosphere don't necessarily cross that line and say, fuck it. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to speak the truth. I'm going to show you the truth. You know what I mean? Even the glimpses of the Jim Crow stuff that he was doing. A lot of people don't know know that balance of, uh -huh. you know, the visual stuff, but I, I thought it was brave yeah. and, and super artistic and thought out. You know. Yeah, I, I enjoyed the choreography of it. Uh -huh. I see the art in it, and um, yeah, he got a message across. He got a message really across. Yeah. Um, that's where I'm at right now. When I hear lyrics, government tried to swallow me. Wish we had our own colony. Black space odyssey. We land. We uh, land on our property. Uh, that's how you see. Is that a a a, a possibility? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, sometimes like those thoughts are just like, man, we. I do feel like us getting ourselves together would be helpful to the world. Mm -hmm. like, and we are in many ways, and we, we striving towards it. But some of it is just like the flow of, of black community, like us knowing about ourselves more, us supporting each other like financially, those things, and just like co community and culture. That helps build every everybody. Like I always say, when black people rise, this country rise. Mm -hmm. When Latino people rise, this country rise. It's like... You can't like have people down at the bottom and be oppressing with a system and think that the country is gonna be at its best because mm -hmm. you 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 shoving people down. You ain't allowing people to 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 flex and live and have their freedom and really expand and and be what they can be. So I, I feel like having our own colony. I'm not like anti any human being. Yeah. So, but I feel like building up. I'm always gonna be able to be like I love black people and I'm I love black women and this is. I'm I'm down for the black culture, uh -huh. and that and I still don't feel like I'm anti anything, uh -huh. besides anti hate or cr you know craziness. But the point is, like building that colony is was is really a, a mentality, a philosophy more than anything. Uh, but it's a, a possibility. Yeah, it's yes. a possibility. Yeah, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. Yeah, it's a possibility because, man, we we have our destiny is in our hands. We have the abilities. I, I I'm not like thinking like man the government just keep doing this so we just gonna stand still yeah i'm like what type of movements that's why another thing is like even when a lot of the talk was going on about about the tweets of yay or anything it's like man those are tweets man tweets 
I, you know, they say something, but the doers, the doers is the is the most important thing. I mean, the tweet is the start, like, yeah. or saying something is the start, but man, taking action, finding out like ways that we can improve the communities, like from grassroots levels to political things, mm-hmm. like is is, and that's the that's where it comes, and that's where it can happen. It is happening. We see our youngins out there. The youngins the, are killing the it. The youngins. Hell yeah. Is, yeah, the youngins is they they showing us like. And I'm open to learning from the youngins too, you know, along with giving whatever wisdom and still taking action. Like my thing now, nice way is action. It's action. Like I've been rapping about this shit for a long time. Been yeah. doing like going up, showing up places, but it's like, man, how can I use my creativity, my mind, my resources, my access to be like, man, how can I change these people's conditions? And a lot of that thing is it ain't it ain't just in me tweeting someone, me Instagramming someone, me saying someone. That's the beginning, but the but the rest comes through the action and teaming up with people who do the work. Cause there's a lot of people doing the work. You show up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you yes, gotta sir. you gotta show up. Yeah, you that's know, it. Yeah. And, and we witnessing we're witnessing you show up. Yeah. Um, one other thing I want to ask you. Go ahead, somebody. I'm just saying. Imagine, like, look what we've been able to do as a people, mm-hmm. of, as an oppressed people. Yeah. Look what we've done. It's amazing what we've done as this, as brown people. Yeah. What we've done in history. Yeah. And be, while being oppressed. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, imagine if we weren't oppressed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Imagine if we were equal. <coughs> How do you get out of oppression, know. though? But that's my thing. That's, yeah. that's How my do we thing. get out of oppression, right? Is that on us now? I think, you know what I think? <laughs> I think, honestly, I think, r- truly, I don't think most white people. Mm-hmm really know the true history of black people in America. Mm-hmm. I don't think they know the real actual history. It's never it's not taught in schools. Yeah. So you come up not knowing the true history. Mm-hmm. You come up kind of knowing little bits and pieces. That's why it's like, oh you guys are still on that. It's like you don't even know you don't you don't understand the true history. I feel like they should once you start teaching kids the true history of America, they grow up understanding. Mm-hmm. And when you have understanding with each other, then that's the that's when it change can actually happen but i think it starts at a young age in in elementary school mm-hmm. so when you by the time you become an adult you're not an ignorant adult you know what i mean mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because they've never taught that in schools they don't they don't teach that yeah. they don't and, teach it in schools and i think too like getting out of oppression is like metaphorically it's like what harriet tubman did mm-hmm. man she went out she went across freed herself and went back and got others so if we do that like from every aspect we free our minds Free, free our, ourselves financially. When, once you free, you got to go back and get. Mm-hmm. You got to go back, but but and you continue. You, she kept going back, right? So it's like, man, you got to keep going back at some point and just. And then I think at that point, everybody starts getting lifted up. And as as Rob said, once once the youth get get the opportunities, because opportunities is what it is, man. I was just in Chicago, man. I was with dudes that was like, dudes that were shooters, dudes that got shot, dudes that. But they were giving jobs at this point. I was sitting up there like they was sitting, sitting there singing songs and, and rhyming and enjoying and singing this this collective song. And then they were going out to do their jobs. It was a program that, that gave them that opportunity. Mm-hmm. Opportunities is, is the thing. And we go out to create a lot of those opportunities. And like I always say, man, it's, it's different levels and layers we got to work at. That's the grassroots level of creating opportunities and stuff and, and changing the, the mentality. But then, you know, it's also the policy level yeah. that has to the happen. The policy level has to happen. Yeah. I, I just grew up not believing that in a, in a capitalistic system that it's possible for everybody to be the haves. You know, yeah. otherwise the system doesn't work. Yeah. So you got to have those, the have-nots and the haves in order for it to work. But why, do, a, why do we have to have the have-nots, though? Because there's some pow- people who are power mongers, uh, fearful people who probably live with insecurities or who are greedy, who don't yeah. want you to have the same thing that I have. Right. And so, uh, and to me, that's what capitalism is. You, you can't have a CEO unless you have the dude in the mailroom, you know, or you, you, can't, you can't have the uh, harvest without somebody in the fields, yeah. you know. And so how do we balance those scales? You kind of, in my opinion, you kind of got to break through that system and create your own. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you on that. I'm with you on that. Yeah. But but also, but think about this way too, in the fields. I mean, even the, okay, the CEO. If the CEO empowers the employees, because it's still got to be an order to a certain thing. Yeah. But if the CEO is is not saying, I'm going to exploit you and abuse you and treat you less than a human being, and 
and and not make sure. And I'm a, I'm a, if the CEO says I'm gonna make sure your family is good. Yeah. I'm gonna make sure when you retire everybody is good. I'm I'm not gonna just like be a, a blood sucker and just take from from you and, mm-hmm. and the people that yeah. It's gonna be some order. It's got to be some people out in the field working. Yeah. Like if if we sit in this studio, we all work, but but. We all, it's all a unit here. Mm-hmm. You ain't like sitting up here like, yeah, I'm just sway, I'm just gonna oppress y'all. At least we ain't seen you oppressing. No, 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 no. Nobody's saying that. BB, look, BB, don't I enjoy being in the field, matter of fact. <laughs> all right, man. We I'm got, hungry. We got August Green in here, man. Uh, man, let's just play this song, No Apologies, and we'll, we'll come back, man. <laughs> <laughs> DB, answer the phones. <laughs> 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 you know, hey, man, I'm going to say something because, you know, having co- comments here, by the way, Robert Glasper's here, Kareem Riggins are here, uh, August Green is here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, Rob, when, you know, it was a lot going on in the news about, about you and Angela Rye, you know, and... Uh, I thought you said Rob. He said no, Rosh. 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 <laughs> Rosh. <laughs> and and that, 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 that made a lot of people, wasn't, you know. No, nah, that's, <laughs> man, that's, that's an incredible woman right there. And that was, you know, we were really, we were together. Yeah. And, and now, you know, we're just friends. But she's amazing. I yeah. love her. Does the press hurt a relationship like that? Sometimes, yeah. Especially when you haven't, like, you got to build that foundation. Yeah. A real foundation before you bring it out to to the press yeah. because you know it's going to be so much talking you got to know how to deal with that especially if you new to that mm-hmm. that wasn't that new to it and I was like yo we need to stay chill till we got the foundation mm-hmm. yeah yeah but um, I, I thought it was amicable how y'all dealt with it even yeah. when it split man yeah, you yeah. know that's my people still yeah and then so now you got your mental you know what you know, oh. look, Heather, yeah. Heather, Heather. We were for everybody, so they yeah. don't even understand. We connected it. though. We connected. Yeah, I, I try to even explain it this way. This is the '90s. This is before all of that. Oh, yeah. oh okay. You, so I don't. I let current. him. Help. He has to. He has to go out. <laughs> I'm busy. I'm married, so she's he has married. to have his fun. <laughs> so he has to have his fun. So I understand. I was fine. I was like, yeah, I got get it. She's beautiful. She's, she's smart. Powerful. Angela's I love that love woman. Yeah. yeah. I was happy. Yeah, yeah. but but I'm. But, back now yeah he's back <laughs> <laughs> he happens. the good ones know yeah you always come back home <laughs> you know what i have a question for all of you guys and it was sparked common when you were reminding everyone every human being has flaws mistakes are inevitable in this experience of life and it brought me to an update that spotify just rolled out with their policies and they are announcing that they're going to be taking off the music of R. Kelly and XXX Tentacion from their playlist. It'll still be there if you want to go and proactively listen yourself, but they don't want to promote it because they don't want to align with um, any sexual assault allegations, you know, physical assault allegations. And also with Kanye, I know um, one radio station like banned his music. How do you guys feel about this? You know, Wonder always mentions how we're in a very sensitive culture. And does this sort of editing help or hurt us? I mean, I, I think, um, you know, people that have their platforms can choose what they choose to, to play or support. Um, it's it, Maybe you have a certain line where you draw like, man, I'm not going to support this, like, because, man, it's just this person just crossed the line, mm-hmm. and it's a time where your morals do have to come into play with mm. with your platform, and you might be like, man, that's that's not freedom of speech or freedom, but you got to shut that shit down at certain points and be like, yo, this is this this just ain't acceptable for for human life. This right. ain't good, and I when you know when I leave this planet, I want to know I stood up for things and 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 just didn't allow everything to happen. Mm-hmm. You know, so I think it's uh it's a I think it's worthy especially when you say, "Hey, you can go listen to it if you want to, but we're not going to promote this." Right. right. I think that's a that's a fair way to to be about it. Do you think it's more fair if they wait for someone to be convicted because you know the court of public opinion seems to be wearing the crown right now? Well, I mean, I think each case is different. Like when you look at uh, R Kelly situation, like it's been over enough years where do we have to really wait for a conviction like it's how many people coming out saying that that where you got to believe that this is probably true mm-hmm. you know and you got to use that judgment too but you you might see another case and you're like 
I'm not sure if this person is really guilty or not, so let me wait on that. And I think, I think you know, the, the true answer is, like, everything is not always uh, the same way, so you got to use your own, like, discern yeah, mm -hmm. discretion and discernment to, to make those choices. All right. Uh, August Green is here. Common Robert Glasper, Kareem Riggs. <laughs> you, you got it right. You got it right. Yeah. <laughs> J Jay, quick question. Go ahead, Jay. He's Hi, in Michigan. Jay. Go ahead, Jay. Hey, Common. Yo. Man, bro, I've been vibing with you since 94. Oh, man, what up? Man. I was up, one of my frat brothers said, man, you heard it kind of like, no. He said, listen to a song called Watermelon. Oh, uh, yeah, like, all right. So, it, you, you said, I stand out like a on a hockey team. I got goals and I can like a pop machine. Man, I went nuts. <laughs> <laughs> and, but the thing about it, bro, is I appreciate you carrying the torch for humanity especially people of African descent and doing it through hip-hop culture, man, because I honestly feel like spiritually and intellectually I've grown with you. You know, Sway has a lot of guests on, a lot of hip-hop heads, a lot of good rappers, but you watch them over time, and it's just like assembly line hip-hop, man. They're not maturing. They're not growing. There's no depth to them. Mm -hmm. You, bruh, I let my make my kids listen to your music, oh, man. Thank, thank you. you. I appreciate that, really. No, thank you, man. And I'm just yo, hip hop has done so much for us that I I feel like I I want to represent it well. You on my top five list, bro? Thank you, man. Yeah, you you on my top That's five? Not, yo, People don't. I, I don't think they when they don't mention you. I don't think it's. I, I just think they don't think about it because yeah. you've you've always been there. Yeah. But if you go through every one of his albums, his collaborative works, everything you've done, you have yet to fail me lyrically. Mm. You know, in all of it. You know, I dissect it. I'm ready to tell I you. Know, I, you, <laughs> I know you. I was like, I'm ready to say it, <laughs> but I can't say it. No, I love that, man. You know what's crazy? Mom, it was years ago you all was doing a top list. It was um, but for MTV or something. And, yeah, and, my, yeah. and my mother was like, uh, man, they said, Cause you were said you was like, man, Common is dope, but he, you know, when he leave, people will probably recognize. Basically, when you die, they recognize. I was that like, was my up. mother's like, damn, you ain't got a daughter. My mother's like, damn, man, you ain't got a daughter. Be dope, man. I'm like, but nah, but thank you for, I, I, I appreciate it. And I'm, I'm alive, man. You know, I'm still grateful. here, baby. Yeah, I'm grateful. Just starting to recognize it now. <laughs> Kareem, stop hogging the interview. All right. <laughs> this is what I want to do. The album is out, man. Pick up. This is a beautiful album, man. It's like hip-hop on wings, but it's more than just hip-hop. Uh, I know y'all didn't expect to do nothing, but somebody left this keyboard over there, Rob, and I know how you like to play. <laughs> man, I just wanted to see if you could jump on it real quick, man. I know you wasn't trying to do nothing because you wanted to put everything on comments back. <laughs> Wow. But if it's cool, first of all, pause. Uh -huh. Go ahead. <laughs> it's, it's all right, man. Yes. What do you think, man? So cool. Yeah, I just, I mean, all right, because arsonists. I don't know if y'all saw arsonists sitting in the back from the heat makers no. right there. Yes, yes. Oh, arsonists, stand up, stand up, yeah. man. Yeah. You know he worked with you know diplomatic community celebrating his 15th anniversary. Yes, okay. He has some beats. All right. I mean, yeah. whatever. We can just you know what I'm saying. I thought maybe Kareem could spit some vote. You got some vocals, and then maybe, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, Come, yeah, can we you do can, something? Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. Let's do something improv real quick, yeah. man. We ready to I, do this? Raj, I can't write this one because it's improv. So you okay. get out of okay. here. Okay. <laughs> Why don't you rhyme, Raj? And, and have to brought so some. Um, I bought some, some sangria. Okay, let me get one of those. Ooh, <laughs> I bought some. Okay, hold on. So we're going to set up right here. All right. Yo, Rob, how many groups are you in now? <laughs> I know. He told us about a new group just yesterday. What's, the, what's, what's the name of the group, Rob? Uh, R, R plus R. R. R plus R. R, plus R. That's you a new group I got with Christian Scott, Terrace Martin, Derek Hodge, and uh, Taylor McFerrin. It's uh, You got another group, too, Austin Austin Green. <laughs> uh, Austin <laughs> Green? Uh, yeah, exactly, Austin Green. Yeah, and then Kelly uh, booked you guys for TRL. When, when we, we shooting when? Yeah, first week June, of June. June 7th? Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Kelly. Don't Thank you. Me. Yes, Kelly. We, 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 we all right. T-I-L. Okay, cool. All right, let's see. Let's see. Okay, is that coming through both sides? Yo, where's the pedal? Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. Oh. All right, cool. All right, here we go. August Green is in the studios. Kareem, we couldn't fit a drum set in here? I got some beatbox. Do you really? No, <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, 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 don't play around. Hey. You know. Okay. Okay, let's see. And then uh let's see what you got, what you got, what you got. 
what you got over there? Oh, Arsonist shit. got some break beats. He brought. Yo, so you, I, I don't got break beats. I just got. I had beats in here. So okay. I don't Let's know what he got. Play man, just play some beats, man. Go ahead. Play <laughs> Let me see, yo, this is so Are the crazy keys out right of now. the beat? So you got other keys in Wait, there. hold on one second. No, it's, it's sample. You know, I sample, but it's like I got something with minimal, you know, okay, like cool. real smooth. Hold on, hold on yeah. one second. Hold on one second. Let's move these chairs out now. Hold just on. to give you the heads up. I'm going to play. Um... Nope, I don't want a heads up. Oh, so you just want to. Okay, no problem. All right, cool. Wait, hold on, hold on. Okay. Sway in the morning. Shade 4 or 5. We yeah. live right now. Live radio. This Sway. is how it goes we down. Here, man. Shade 45. Yeah. Yeah, make you swear uh. you get arsonist too, Ty. Uh. Heat makers, heat me, crack music, crack music. Let them find it, let them find it. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> As hell. You heard that? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with wrong? <laughs> I'm my own hype man. I told you that. I forgot, I forgot. Play them keys, Rob. Where you at? <laughs> Sway in the morning. Off the cuff. Where you at, Rob? Kareem Riggins. Oh, yeah, yeah. Robert Glasper. Yeah. Arsonist yeah. on the beat. Yeah. Introducing to you my homie, Common. Check it out, one, two. Yo, I'm the homie from Stony. I never been phony. Me and Sway, I guess he told me or told you. We in the morning brainstorming. When it come to this cold blooded, keep it warm and global warming. Think about the vocal I was storming with my people. Yo, my mic and your mic, come on, yo, no equal. I used to say that all the time, but now I fall in the rhymes. Falling, no swine. Drink a little sangria with Heather B. I look at her faces, heavenly. Yo, you can speak to me, speak so free. When on the keys is my brother Rob G. Arsonist on the beat. We keep carving this thing, God, we make it sweet. Coming down to Sway's universe, through the verse. I say so many things, many dreams I had like Dr. King, but yo, sort of like Malcolm X. Now, who can house this text or who can house the text? My album flex, so many things. I got maybe 11 of them. August Green, I guess I bring heaven with them. Uh, heaven with them when I come down to rhythm. Uh, this is what I do. Some people ask me for wisdom. Uh, I ain't really got it. I just came to spot it. My style stay allotted when I just get the topic. Get on different topics, they ask me about yay i just say chill yo this is friday and this is my way i express like a highway think about the highways i took now don't overlook rest in peace to my man prodigy who made the shook ones i used to hold guns not really i was just out there acting silly fighting then i was igniting yo i'm like the titan that clashes understand yo i'm down with cashes muhammad ali call me muhammad rashi because i can think about the way that i got a profit who can stop the profit sort of like jay rue i knew a debut this is how we do no morning in the way dude oh i meant to say sway in the morning this is how we go check it out we Talk keep to him, baby. yo i keep talking to him walking through him with different rhythms yo this is how i ought to do him i gotta show him the many things and many dreams that we all had sometimes i just talk to my dad even though he left the planet in the physical i still talk in the spiritual this is how the lyrical things seem to go when the brother comes straight from the place called the ghost chicago this is how it be hold the plate hold the plate yo shout out to golden state I'm I'm a warrior, hey, born exploring hey. the different type of things. And this is me and Rain. This hey, is man, August Green. Yo, we that. on the scene. You get on the topic. Golden State okay. gonna beat the Rockets. Yeah. That's just how it is. Man, please don't yo, let me go in my pockets. Yo, go in your pockets <laughs> and keep digging. <laughs> digging for beats like Rain Riggins. Ooh. That's just how it is. Yo, we seen living. Rob, what goes you can you do? Get on the freestyle and just come through. I get a freestyle, I come through. Hold up, let me gum chew. <laughs> <laughs> Spit it out. Pause. Pause, oh, spit it out. You sort of like Jordan Peele, you need to get it out. <laughs> hey, remember that? Yeah, yo, all good, great, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Yo, man, that was off the top of the head right there, man. Amazing. One of the greatest freestylers in hip hop history. Ever. Ever. Give it up for Common. Give it up for Kareem Riggins. Give it up for Robert Glasper. Robert with your crazy sound. 
<laughs> August Green. Also, yeah. giving up for the arsonists. Yeah, arsonists oh, don't be oh. what I mean, no. All right, and all our guests that came by, BD3, give it up for him. Yeah. Give it up for Mercules. Uh, give it up for the Sway in the Morning crew. You know, man, if people want to reach you guys, man, tell them how they can reach you, man. Yo, I mean, August Green, we got we on Instagram at August Green. We on Twitter at August Green. The, the album is out right now on all platforms. Yes, you know, yes, yes. Came out through Amazon, but and we actually gonna have this thing on Amazon called the Green Room, so y'all can check us out there too. Okay, and then um the the then this is how the life comes. Three sixty, uh, Common was off in Seattle, and uh, King Tech's daughter yes. runs a lot of diversity initiatives. Oh, yeah. For she, Amazon. She was in the meeting with all of us. It was August Green in the meeting. Yes. And she pulled me aside and said, man, I'm Tech's daughter. Man, I just, that just blew my mind. And man. I just told you, man, yeah. it just felt, I felt great, man. I, I, we all came up in hip hop together. And to be in a meeting with his daughter about what we about to do with the August Green project was like yeah. 360, yeah, bro. Yeah, man. Victoria Sapon. I'm just going to say her name. Yeah. So when Amazon hears this, yes, she's going to uh, probably get a promotion now. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, how's your daughter? Oh, my daughter's great, man. She finished her third year at Howard. Okay. She's staying on it. Okay, our daughters are like, I think, a year apart. Yeah, yeah a year, year apart. apart. Yeah, she, same yeah, day, though. Same, no, one same, day difference. Same, August 12, 13th. 13th, yeah, same yeah. day. Daughter's born on the same day. Yeah, yeah, bro. Ain't that crazy? Yeah, that's crazy, brother. That's what I'm saying. You a better version of me. Nah, man, not at all. <laughs> not at all. Not at all, bro. All right, man, I love you guys. Love you, bro. And keep up the work, man. Appreciate y'all. Keep up the work, man. Thank you. All right, appreciate you, man. Heather, how can they reach you if they want to reach you? I'm at the happy hour at WHB. Tracy G. Twitter, Instagram, at It's Tracy G. OQ Shoots on Instagram. At DJ Wonder. I'm at Real Sway across the board. You can find all these wonderful interviews and stuff on, on Sway's Universe. And don't forget Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 a.m. TRL, man. And, to, and happy Mother's Day to all these wonderful yeah. and beautiful mothers out yeah. there. Your mother, we want to thank you. Without you, there would be no us. From Queens, come Kings. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be a king if it wasn't for a queen. Yes, sir. All right. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen. We have nothing left to say. <laughs>